Well, when you know, we'll set it up. It's all set. You know. Done. Oh, the cookie and of sorts. The vanishing. Done well. You gotta get out of here. There's the exit. Please leave. You know? It's kind of ironic. And it's, well, it's sort of maybe kind of fitting the end like that. You know? Nobody ever knows when the end is coming. They just know, well, when the end has already happened. And, well, you know, it's finally done almost. You know? Hell is almost frozen over. I think indeed. Because, well, we're going to find out Wednesday, for sure, on hump day of all places and of all things. Please have a Corona, a cold beverage or something, or a, a joint. I mean, this is going to be an occasion one to remember. I'm going to have a joint. I'm going to have maybe two or three joints, baby. That's going to be a good day. Well, interesting in nature. So to speak, you're saying purple people die. What are you talking about? What's going to happen Wednesday? And you know, I always tell you things in advance that you don't know about. Well, you should know, but you don't. And then I break it down, and by the time I'm through, you're like, oh damn, that owl is telling you something. Should be listening. Anyway, Wednesday, well, the minority leader in the House, the Republican minority leader in the House, Kevin McCarthy, well, he scheduled a vote to well, oust the conference chair of the current House Republican Party. It happens to be a woman, the only woman in leadership in the Republican Party. And, well, her name is Liz Cheney, and she's from the great state of Wyoming. Now you're like, purple people's out. Why don't you go and say Wyoming is a great state? I know Wyoming. We used to live in Wyoming. Glendale to be exact. Glendale, Wyoming. I did a lot of work in the state park there. Glendale State Park. Did more work in the park than most of the Republicans who are actually going to oust the person who has actually done... Well, she's done some things for Wyoming that are good. Probably some things for Wyoming that are bad, too. But she's definitely done more than the people who are planning to oust her. And I, the Purple People's Owl, personally have helped out the citizens of Wyoming without doing any bad things. I actually went to Wyoming, short story, I'll give it to you. I actually went to Wyoming and helped construct a bike trail in the Glendale State Park. And, you know, visited Laramie, Jackson, um, you know, Wyoming's a nice place. The people were lovely. Treated the owl lovely. It was like, like they didn't even know it was an owl. You know? That's how it goes. And that's the story, baby. Wyoming, got great outdoors. Plenty of hiking. Plenty of biking. Lots of shooting. You know? It's still the old western country. You have saloons out there. You have, well, you have a feel of the west coast. And, well, the ruggedness. How it all started. You know? The Oregon Trails, the Oregon Trail, the coach carriages, all of that good old Western stuff. The stuff that people grow up idolizing and fantasizing about. It's still in Wyoming. They have ranches. There's more cattle than people in Wyoming. More animals, so that's good. But, you know, I'll talk about Idaho in a minute because, well, I gotta talk about their cousin to the north and, well, some of the shit that they own about the animals. We'll talk about Idaho in a moment. You fuckers are fucking up in Idaho. Big time. Big time. But let's get back to Wyoming. Anyway, they set a vote to house their conference chair. The Republicans have. And well, it's a woman. And she's the only woman in leadership. And well, it looks pretty bad if all men are ousting a woman. And she's the only woman. So they have to find a replacement. And well, they found a replacement. And see, well, if that's not misogynistic and sexist, I don't know what is. It's like, 
You're only asking one woman to replace her with another woman. And this woman that you're replacing her with has to disagree with the previous woman. Because if you weren't replacing her with somebody that disagrees, there would be no reason to oust her in the first place. That's misogynistic. And well, you can talk about council culture. It doesn't really exist outside of the minds of white supremacists who uh, think that anything they do to other people should be accepted. And when they, well, when people don't, then they're being canceled. But you know, the shoe is always on the wrong foot or something to that expression. Anyway, they're going to oust her. And well, it's always bad when they banish somebody from the party. Because well, that just means that they don't belong to that party anymore. They might hold a ideology, but they're they're not allowed in the party. Not allowed to, well, you can have the title of being in the party, but you're not allowed to actually participate in the party. It's like showing up to a high school party. And well, everybody knows who you are, but you're not on the list. But you can still go into the party, but you're not on the list and everybody knows who you are. That's the ultimate shame, you know? And so it happens that this is Liz Cheney, the daughter of, well, Darth Vader himself, Dick Cheney, you know, the dude with the heart problem that would pretty much orchestrated pretty much every war um, that the empire has fought in for a long period of time. Not a nice dude. And that's his daughter. And, well, you know, the Republican Party is all about business. And Cheney used to run Halliburton, the oil company, you know, well, if you know anything about petrol and the history behind petrol and how dirty oil is, well, the things that men had to do for oil have also been also very dirty in nature. And so this is business interest and plus, well, political interest. But, you know, she went against the new white idol, Jesus. I mean, Donald Trump. But, well, wait a minute. Donald Trump is not, well... You know, in white supremacy's mind, everything has to be turned to white. So Donald Trump is Jesus in their mind. But in everybody else's mind, Donald Trump is just complete trash. Anyway, she went against Donald Trump. And well, you know, you can't go against the new white idol. Not that. Not that way. So they're going to oust her. And well, you know, this is big. Because the Cheney's, well, they're establishment in the Republican Party. That's like a brand name. You don't think Republican Party and not Cheney. So if they take the extraordinary step of like actually throwing her out of the party, saying get out of here, you can't come to the party anymore. Well, you know they're gonna lose a lot of votes. And well, wouldn't you know, I don't care. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. No, that's too simplistic. I'm more down with the people. So whatever the people are, well, Whatever they need, I'm that. They call me the puppet keeper gal. Not a party gal. No, I don't like political parties. I think they're really irrelevant. Well, anyway, it should be a fun day Wednesday, May hours change. And you know, a lot of women, they can smell this. Even if they're not political, they smell bullshit. They're like, oh, there goes the corporate boss again replacing me with the more docile, the more compliant, the more, well, maybe younger, more attractive female. There goes my job. You know, it's just like those men in that miniseries Mad Max. They're going to replace you with the more docile, the more compliant, the more attractive female. They're just waiting to do it. You just have to disagree with them on one thing, you know? You just have to cross one white idol, and they'll replace you. And that's what they're doing to Liz Cheney. They're replacing her. Now, you know, I have no love for the Cheneys, nor the Republican Party. So, you know, to me it's all intrigue and mystery and fun. But, you know, I do think that she actually stood on principle on this. And, well, I call a ball a ball and a strike a strike. And you know, the only reason they're really replacing her is, well, she didn't stand down to the white new idol. 
the new white Jesus, you know, Donald Trump. And, well, you can't do that if you want to be a Republican nowadays, a conservative. You can't spell conservative without the word con. You know, you got to appease, well, the nut, the kook, and all the white supremacists. The two are mutual. And, well, what do you know? Liz couldn't cut it. She couldn't do the trick. She couldn't, well, sell out all the way. And, well, that has, well, it has its price. And the price is no leadership for you. No conference chair committee position for you. You know, the House Minority Leader, Kevin McCarthy, said she's a distraction. Well, that sounds like a lot of things that men say about women when they're in the workplace. You know, she wore that dress. And the whole eight hours, I was distracted. And I couldn't get any work done. I had to send her home today. She wore a low-cut blouse. And you know, those girls in the school, they can't wear spaghetti tops. It's too distracting for the boys. 